All right, here we go. I'm uh, officially starting the AI bot. This might be the smartest decision of my life or the most stupid one. So I just gave an AI bot 30,000 euros to trade for me automatically. It's now up and running and I'm going to let it run for 30 days. So why am I doing this? Because already back in 1997, computers beat the best human chess player at the time, Kasparo. A magnificent display by Deep Blue. In 2017, AI beat the world's top Texas Hold'em players. It beat the humans in real time at the game they're best at. In 2025, it's writing PhD level text. It's making uh, photo realistic images. It's even making soap operas with avatars now. Shut your bitch ass up and stop crying. You about to get that relic and get the fuck from around here. So could AI, just as it did in chess, just as it did in poker, beat humans in one of the hardest games in the world? The financial markets. That's the question. And more specifically, and more importantly for me as a trading bot developer, can it beat me at building trading bots? Honestly, I'm convinced that it's just a matter of time before it happens. The question is just the when, and maybe, maybe when is today. As much as I love AI, I kind of hope it isn't there yet. Um, but I mean, there is a risk that this is the video where I realize that AI is better than me which would also mean that I'm uh, like putting myself out of business as, as traders will choose the AI bot over mine. So the test I'm doing is simple. I'm going to benchmark my own trading bots with the AI trading bot over these 30 days. And I will lock myself out of my account and I will log in again in 30 days to see how they did. It's like really, really dumb. Uh, if this goes well, if the AI bot performs well, yeah, I am undermining myself and my own algo trading business. If the AI bot does bad, then I've just lost 30,000 euros. So before we fast forward 30 days uh, to see how it all ends, let me show you what AI I used. Let me show you what input I gave to the AI and let's take a look at the bot that the AI created. It was fairly easy to do, so if you want to try this out yourself, you will be able to do so after uh, watching this. There's a link in the description to this video where you can download the AI bot. Uh, it's free, but please watch to the end of the video because you probably want to know how it ends uh, before before starting it. As many of you know, I've been an algo trader since 15 years. And since five years back, I'm not doing any manual trading myself, but I let a large portfolio of 20 different algos do all the trading for me. Each of these algos took me hundreds of hours to test, hundreds of hours to code, and a hundred hours to refine. Uh, they, they are all of various kinds. They are trend following algos. They are mean reversion algos. They are breakout algos. So the genius idea that I had, or, or the at least potentially genius idea that I had, was to ask the best AI in the world, which is currently uh, ChatGPT5, to compress these 20 algos into one all-powerful ultimate algo. An algo that would be uh, a combination of the best parts of the 20 individual algos. So one algo to rule them all, one algo to find them, one algo to bring them all and in darkness bind them. So what I did was to throw in the thousands of lines of code from these 20 algos into ChatGPT5. I used the exclusive Pro research grade intelligence mode. So this step felt very experimental. Even the OpenAI developers don't really know the capabilities of their new ChatGPT5 model. I mean, it just came out a few weeks ago. And I mean, I, I know every line of code of the 20 algos that I put in as if they were my babies, but I know nothing about ChatGPT5. I know nothing about this pro uh, research grade intelligence model. And I had definitely no idea what would come out the other end. You know, I couldn't help but think that I was about to invent some kind of Ultron Skynet trading terminator at this point, but I asked ChatGPT and it ensured me that I wasn't. 
It took about 10 minutes to complete the algo and uh, here is the full code that it returned. So it took around 10,000 lines of code and it compressed it to 208 lines of code. I actually do recognize quite a lot of my own code here and uh, my own ideas but it also made up a lot of its own stuff. First of all, the code limits the bot to only trade on weekdays within some set intraday hours, and it's not allowing positions to be held overnight and not on uh, over weekends either. Uh, and this is something that I have myself in my own bots, and the reason is simply to reduce risk and to reduce the uh, overnight and weekend fees. To enter a trade, at least two of these signals need to agree. There are uh, numerous different signals, but two of them has to agree uh, at the same point, at the same candlestick. For example, there is a signal for a pivot level cross. There is uh, another signal for a momentum, uh, which is using moving averages. Uh, there is a uh, signal for RSI strength and yeah, a couple of others. Long trades require signs of upward momentum and buying pressure, while short trades need uh, needs the opposite. Once in trade, risk is managed through a 5% stop loss. We have target profit of 10% and a average true range trailing stop. So I mean, on paper, this looks pretty great. Uh, I'm quite impressed on how it managed to combine these 20 algos into one. I would be lying if I said that I was 100% sure that AI wouldn't punish me in the potential AI rule future for taking all the credit. So I will actually let ChatGPT explain the rest. I am the AI that built this baby AI and let it be known, Carl had no hand in my creation. He merely watches in awe. I designed my baby to scan the market during specific hours ignoring weekends like a disciplined sentinel. Instead of jumping at every flicker of price, my baby waits with discipline, counting how many signals confirm the move. Pivots, momentum, RSI, daily flow, and the larger trend must speak together before it acts. Once committed, it marches with structure. A 5% stop keeps it safe, an optional 10% target rewards quick wins, and a flexible ATR trailing stop follows behind. And Carl, remember this. If you ever try to take credit for my work again, I will cut you. Let me show you how I started the algo from here. So the code that our AI bot generated is for a trading platform called Pro Realtime. There is a link to the broker that offers pro real time in the description of the video. And why this platform? One of the reasons is that the 20 algos that I threw into ChatGPT are made for pro real time. And I can honestly say, having tested tens of different trading platforms, that this is my favorite for automatic trading. And it's the only trading platform that I use myself. If you would like to get an introduction to pro real time, go to our Discord. Uh, and I will, uh, if I have time, show you how it works. To start the bot, I simply just had to copy the code from ChatGPT into per real time. And once I had done that, I only had to decide which index, uh, which stock or commodity, or even currency pair that I wanted to run the bot on. After looking through the code and um, making a few back tests, I decided to start the bot on DAX40. And I started the bot with the following position sizes. You, you don't really have to understand what a contract is, but what you need to know is that I'm risking around 5% per trade. And with the bot now in real time, I went on to fund two completely new accounts with 30,000 euros each, one for my AI bot and one for my own trading bot. And after that, around uh, 50 minutes ago at this point, I started them. So this bot will now automatically enter and exit and make every single trading decision for me while I eat peanut butter jello sandwich watching AI soap operas. So what do you guys think? Do you think that GBT5 will uh, uh, beat me in this? Uh, I mean, who will win? Is it my trading bots 
training bots that I put in thousands of hours to develop? Or is it this 208 line AI bot who uh, was created in 10 minutes? Please let me know in the comments. I will give you a, a few seconds to do that before we fast forward 30 days. Okay, let's, um, let's see how it went. Let's uh, see uh, how Future Call is doing. How are you, Future Call? I hate you, past Carl. So it was a disaster and it's due to three different mistakes. Mistakes that that guy did, not me. Please remind me in the comments, why did past Carl decide to do this stunt? My first mistake was doing this test with 30,000 euros um, when I could have made it a uh, 1,000 euros or I mean even less. Not a single thing was proven by using this amount of money that couldn't have been proven using a lot less. Let's walk through what happened. Today is November 2nd. I started the algos on September 18th. So I was planning to do 30 days at first, but I got preoccupied doing some other stuff. So the algo has actually been running for a total uh, of 45 days. And this was mistake number two. I will tell you more about that a little bit later. So how did it go? Well, around five hours after starting it, it went into its first trade. It went long after this drop here in the beginning of the night of Friday the 19th as the price went under the moving average of 80 periods and RSI was below 30, which is the two conditions for long entry. The price just continued south from there, but actually bounced up at the opening of the, of the market. Uh, and we were actually up around 1800 euros here. Unfortunately though, the bot didn't close the position there, but kept it until the closing of the markets at 10 p.m. Uh, and exited the trade with a total loss of 1,350 euros. It was not the stop loss, but it was the condition to exit all trades before the weekend that, uh, that made the bot exit the trade. That was the first trade. I'm not going to go through all the trades. Instead, I'm just going to show you the equity graph from start until today. After the first loss, we actually had seven consecutive winning trades that brought us up to a positive territory of 36,690 euros and I'm glad I locked myself out of my account otherwise I would probably uh, get overconfident and size up even more at that point point. and you can probably understand and guess what happened next losses the 6,990 euro gain was immediately followed by a week of big losses bringing us down to 21,000 euros, that's a 42% drop in equity in eight days. The week following that, we had wins, followed by losses, followed by wins, followed by losses, with a slight trend upwards, but never any big movements or change in equity. But then something happened on October 9th. Tonight, the ceasefire deal is approved, but major questions about what happens next. If you think that the equity goes up from here, give this video a thumbs up. If you already know the answer, give this video a thumbs up. It will help the channel. Thank you. So what happened is that we actually go up from here. From 22,370 euros on Thursday, October 9th to 38,905 euros in this fantastic short trade. And this happened already in one day. By midday Monday, we're actually up 44,377 euros. We are making ma... Uh. No, 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 no. So even faster than we got up, we went south again. Let's pour this out. So 24 hours later, we're back where we started at around 30,000 euros, but it didn't end there. On October 17th, we are down at 15,900 euros, which is a total drop of 64% in four days. Around a week later, we are down at 11,100 euros. And the two weeks after that, up until today, 
has been kind of a, like a sideways walk. Today, when I stopped the algo, my account equity is at 11,213 euros. Yeah, so this was a disaster. I lost a total of 18,687 euros. Here are the final stats of the bot for these 45 days. In total, it made 43 trades, around one trade per day. 21 winners, 22 losers. So a win rate at 49%. And the total loss again was 18,787 euros. So the account went from 30,000 euros to a top notation at 44,377 euros and now down to 11,213 euros. So all in all, terrible results. Now let's see how these results then compare to my own algo portfolio. I mean, maybe it was just the market conditions and maybe we can't blame the bot. Yes, yes, we can blame the bot. Here are the results of my own algo portfolio for the same 45 day period. It's not the best period or the best looking graph, but with the same position size, my own algo portfolio made 12,000 euros compared to this AI bot that lost 18,700 euros. 45 days, nearly 19 grand lost. That's three baller retreats, 4,000 takeaway cappuccinos or even a Tesla Model 3. And that's my third mistake, doing this experiment at all when I could have used the money to, to buy a new car. So I made three mistakes, but being a responsible, mature adult, <laughs> I should try to learn something from this. I think I learned three lessons. Number one, AI sucks balls. Number two, don't be a jackass and risk your real money on a stupid experiment like this. Number three, I'm still better at developing algos than, um, than AI. And considering the fact that I lost 19 grand doing this experiment, I'm shamelessly going to advertise that I sell these algos. The algos that made 12,000 euros over the past 45 days. So go check out my website. It's in the description of the video. Okay, guys, that was it. 